Hello class! How are you doing today? I hope you are all good. I am Teacher Clark and welcome to Biotechnology. At the end of the video lesson, you should be able to appreciate the improved animal species produced by genetic breeding methods. In our activity, I am going to teach you on how to breed a genetically modified fish which is the glowfish. But before that, let's have a brief background about this fish. Guide questions. What are glowfish? Where did they come from? And why scientists from National University of Singapore create this organism? The zebrafish, with the scientific name Daniel Rerio, is a freshwater fish belonging to the minnow family Cyprinidae of the order Cypriniforms, native to South Asia. It is a popular fish frequently sold in pet store. Zebra Daniels will thrive in waters that are consistently between 65 and 77 degrees Fahrenheit, and they prefer soft to medium hard water with a pH of 6.5 to 7.2. In terms of filtration, zebra Daniels are not demanding at all. Did you know the common color of Daniels are gold and blue stripe or gold and silver stripe? Researchers in Singapore added a fluorescence genes from jellyfish protein or sea coral to zebra Daniels eggs. Each type of protein made the fish glow a different color from red, green, orange, yellow, blue, pink, and purple. The scientists from National University of Singapore successfully created this spectacular fish, patented their new creation, and branded it Glowfish. Originally, they are created to detect environmental toxins. The gene causes the genetically modified fish to flourish or light up in the presence of environmental toxins. Let's start! Here are the materials needed in breeding genetically modified fish. 10 pieces Danios, 5 females and 5 males. Female Danios have rounder body while males are smaller and thinner. Live aquatic plants like hornwort, a tub or aquarium, stock water from deep well or mineral water. Procedures The first step is to know how to tell their gender. Usually, females are rounder than males, while males' colors are more intense. Set up your breeding tank. Fill the breeding tank with stock water and let it cycle for at least 24 hours. After that, the male should be moved to a breeding tank. This will allow the females to develop their eggs without being stressed by the males. Zebra Danios tend to eat their eggs as soon as the females release them. This requires covering the tank bottom with nets, marbles, or bushy plants like hornworts, such that the Zebra Danios won't be able to reach them. After 10 to 14 days, move the females in the breeding tank. Zebra Danios usually spawn at first light. It is recommended to remove some water and keep only 2 to 3 inches, 5 to 7 centimeter from the net stop to the water surface. This is in order not to give the Zebra Danios too much time to catch the falling eggs and eat them. At the morning, after close inspection of the tank bottom, you will be able to spot some eggs. Remove the males and females in the breeding tank. Each female usually lay between 200 to 300 eggs. Unfortunately, not all will hatch. The eggs will hatch after 48 hours and the fry will begin to swim freely in a week. And that is how you breed genetically modified fish which is the glowfish. Question. What are glowfish? Where did they come from? And why scientists from National University of Singapore create this organism? Yes, you are correct. Glowfish are genetically modified organisms. They are created by the researchers at the National University of Singapore to help detect environment pollutants in water. Organisms that have been manipulated using recombinant DNA technology as well as products derived from those organisms have found their way into many farms, supermarkets, home medicine cabinets, and even pet shops such as those that sell glowfish and other genetically modified animals. And now, try to challenge yourselves by breeding this wonderful fish and share your experience by writing a reflection. Did you enjoy our lesson for today? I hope you've learned a lot from our learning quest. If you have comments, questions, and suggestions, you can email me at clark.bautista at debet.com.ph This is Teacher Clark, and always remember that science is power.